Howdy. I'm Gray Pilgrim. I'm going to put my glasses. Uh, just a second, I forgot. My... Well, I'll just use these. I happen to have a uh, set of prescription uh, uh, safety glasses for uh, working in the shop. Uh, anyway, uh, we've had a bit of an excitement today. Uh, seems that there was a uh, something of a, a domestic uh, dispute in uh, the city near here, and uh, some fellow decided that he was going to end it uh, with a with gunshots, and shot. I think I didn't hear if it was his mother, his sister, his wife, uh, his girlfriend, somebody, and uh, then he ran out in a, a beat up old Ford and started heading out on the, the highway. And he, he ended up in, uh, out here in the canyon, uh, zooming down the road to uh, a near, another nearby town. And every cop in the city and the local towns and the state troopers and everybody in the universe was on that one road going zoom, zoom, zoom by. We never hear sirens out here except for accidents up the canyon. And, oh, oh that's, that's an ambulance. Somebody must have wiped out up the canyon somewhere. So, I mean, that's what we usually think when we hear a siren, but uh, this was cop cars, and I thought, what the heck is going on? Anyway, today is Samhain, or <laughs> as you folks know it, Halloween. Uh, Samhain is an ancient Celtic word. In Ireland, it was the, uh, the old pagan uh, holiday of uh, 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 All Saints Eve, or uh, November Eve, or it was one... In uh, modern paganism, it is one of the uh, cross qu cross quarter Sabbath days. You have the uh, two solstices, the two equinoxes, and the cross quarter days. And uh, the the king of them all is Samhain. It's Samhain is spelled Samhain, but it's pronounced Samhain. Anyway, the reason I know this two reasons. One, this ain't a cross. That's a Thor's hammer. I uh, ascribe to uh, 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 Norse paganism, let's put it that way. Uh, sorry guys, I ain't Christian. Uh, my ex-wife was a witch, and uh, when we got married, it was in a Wiccan hand fasting. Okay, there goes another, another cop up the canyon. Uh, anyway, but to uh, commemorate today, I thought I would write, read a poem I wrote God, 40 years ago, maybe 45 years ago. Something like that. Didn't I date it? I think I dated it. 1979. Good Lord, that's a long time ago. Anyway. Oh, boy. This is called The Age of Fire and Ice. I don't. Are you familiar with the, uh, the Norse myth of the end times? They call it Ragnarok. I know that's the name of a movie by Marvel, but <laughs> forget your Norse comic books, and let's talk the, the real thing. In the end of time, the gods and the uh, frost giants will have a great battle. And the battle will be called Ragnarok. And in the battle, uh, the, uh, they both kill each other, basically. The, the Asgard, uh, the, do the gods of Asgard, the, the Aesir, and the uh, gods of uh, Niflheim or, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, or Jutenheim, the land of the frost, uh, will uh, be in a big war. And it's called the Age of Fire and Ice. And that's what uh, Ragnarok means, is fire and ice. Uh, it's just quite a, a epic uh, uh, symbolism within Norse mythology. Anyway, I wrote this years ago basically so that I could remember all the uh, jawbreaker names these people use for different things. It's called the Age of Fire and Ice. I sing of Odin's fame and the wail of the Allerhorn. For its sounding is Midgard's bane on that day when twilight is born, when the serpent rises from the deeps to battle the Odinson, when Fenris breaks his troll forged chains, no Ragnarok hath come, when Skull and Hati hunger, their wild hunt stalks the sky, sun and moon diminish, till all light wanes and dies, when a frozen summer lingers, and the fimble winter looms, the gods will seek the spaywives for a portend of their doom. When the world ash bends its branches with its leaves like flags unfurled, each plant and stone will know it. 
This is the weird of the world. Now from the realm eternal, cross Bifrost spectral span, march a host of mighty warriors. At their head, one raises a hand, and he swears an oath so mighty that the very ground doth quake, and the legs of Uthgar and Loki are made to tremble and quake. Odin leads his army with his firstborn at his right. None could hope for bravery against their fabled might. Now even to Valhalla, his mystic thoughts do ride, and the heroes give him answer as Yildner's gates swing wide. Now from those mighty portholes march all who fought and fell to strengthen Odin's army, a weregeld born in hell. All are arrayed for battle, the parleys now are done. Each eye doth wait and watch for word from the one-eyed one. His brow is creased with wisdom, for as the legends tell, he traded an all-seeing eye for a draught of Mimir's well. Now from the back of Sleipner, he gives his final word. Asgard, cries the father, rushing forth with his sword. Horizon to horizon, charge the golden train to stand before their foemen across the vigorous plain. Thor to strike Mjolnir, to smite a giant down, heads fall high beneath his feet as fl blood flows o'er the ground. No more will Uthgar Loki walk the land of frost, for dead are all the giants, Jutenheim forever lost. Jormungandr lunges as plumes of poison rain. Mjolnir crashes through his skull, the worm and Thor lie slain. Hugin and Munin fly screaming under a blood-red sun to watch and know and remember Goddardamerung. Fenris downs the father, yet mortal was his spear. The Hellwolf's spirit passes, the Weregeld oh so dear. Now Yggdrasil falls burning, her boughs lie cleaved in twain, as ash and dust fall o'er the earth, a last unholy rain. All gods and men lie dying, as stones cry out in sorrow, no room to tell. No norn to know what doom doth hold the morrow. The Age of Fire and Ice by me, by Great Pilgrim. Uh, I can't do that today, but in my youth, I could, I could weave a pretty good poem, I thought. But anyway, this was given to me by a, uh, uh, what's called a gothi, which is a uh, uh, sort of a, a storyteller, wise man of... Uh, as a true our folk, or the uh, the Norse pagans, uh, in a little town in uh, northern New Mexico called Hamas Springs. And he's quite an artist. It's lost wax cast, and uh, I've had it for many, many, many years, you know, since my teens. And uh, you know, it's just it's the path I follow. And uh, you know, I I have uh, I have a sword. I don't have an axe. I have a sword, <laughs> but. Uh, I will show you one thing, though. This is my staff, my other staff. This is cut from uh, black cherry wood with uh, one swing of a, a ceremonial knife uh, from a, uh, a plant, a grove, uh, near a uh, hot springs in northern New Mexico. I have dipped this in the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean in Lake o, uh, is it, uh, Michigan, Lake Michigan, and in the Gulf Coast. So it's been in the waters of all four sides of this continental U.S. Uh, it's been with me many, many years. Uh, the crystal on top is Tibetan, uh, set in silver. I put it on myself long, long ago. And if I'm going to use it ritually, uh, these silver bands on it, I put a sprig of uh, holly or uh, other green plant on there before I uh, do anything. Anyway, just saying. And there's another another one of these fellows going by. Great day to go into town and rob a bank because none of the cops are there. They're all up here. <laughs> Strange. Anyway, uh, when your kids are out uh, trick-or-treating tonight, uh, just think that some of us will be out uh, remembering the old ways. Happy trails.